tell you white women my new earrings only for white women. Hello, beautiful, brilliant black women, goddess born. Um, please go back and watch Miss Chantel's um, videos and, and please support her. She makes the most beautiful jewelry. Girl, uh, Miss Chantel, I'm going to need a, um, a size nine fuck you ring too because, yeah, I think you. All right. Um, so we're going to address the, what do y'all call them? Elephant in the room or something? Uh, crossroad demon in the room, okay? Um, so this is for educational purposes. All right. And you probably never do any of um, what I have allegedly done, do, or uh, allegedly may do in the future. I'm just saying. Okay, let's get it though. Okay, black women, I'm going to give us a different perspective. You got to have to excuse me while I go to hell off on a crossroad demon though. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to cut over and let crossroad demons know what's up okay and um there's a reason why i designed um general very general um standards for us um actually they're for other people when they're when they're um when they are trying to gain access to us so that we have boundaries and we can develop consequences individually. You can take what I made and you can spread it around to other black women, black girls. You can, you can um, add to it. You can take away from it, whatever. Okay. It's about our safety. And this conversation we're having right now is about the national security of black and indigenous women and girls. Okay. So let's get into this okay the reason that we cannot any longer ignore tolerate you know turn a blind eye turn the other cheek i don't fucking know um of course you we all know i don't do any type of forgiveness or any of that shit around here but um the reason we can't do that is because it's costing us our lives and um, more importantly, for me personally, is costing the lives of young black women and black girls. Okay. So that's why I go so hard. That's why I will address issues in the way you see me address them. Now, while it is true that I am an extreme option, huh? you have the right as black women to defend yourself okay you have a right to defend your family you have a right to defend your home you have a right to defend your environment okay and honestly i'm gonna need us to take that way more seriously okay but it's only because i love y'all right and i center uh black and indigenous women and girls all right but let's let's address this this um, crossroad demon, this legion. Um, no, white bitch. Sorry, legion. You do not. You do not get to speak to, for, about, or against us. Now you need to go back to the crossroads and let every one of the, those bitches know what's up. Okay. When these other demographics, including black males, decide that they're going to be violently anti-black woman and black girl, it costs us our fucking lives. When you go around telling people that we are subhuman in every way you can, people are acting on it and you know it. And we're not gonna spend one more motherfucking day getting outraged by your bullshit. No, you, you, you are going to keep black women and black girls name out your motherfucking mouth. Now, I have some skincare products. And I made them specifically for black women because fuck a white bitch. Who the fuck are you talking to, bitch? I don't give a fuck what you do with white women. I don't give a fuck about you in the crossroads and your legion shit, bitch. How 
dare you speak to a young black woman? How dare you get on video and try to terrorize a young black woman? What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I don't care. Let's get that clear. I don't give a fuck what your problem is. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you fucking think. But you better not have the names of black women and black girls in your motherfucking mouth. You are a national security threat to our very fucking lives. And when you ain't in the goddamn hospital murking us, when you ain't in the social work system kidnapping our children and destroying them, when you ain't in the education system terrorizing our baby girls and destroying them, when you ain't in the judicial system writing all types of policies and all this other shit against us to violently destroy us, you want to know why we have incidents like Miss Sonia Massey, incidents all, all just, we can't go anywhere, we can't do anything, we, we are fighting for our fucking lives for 405 goddamn years in this motherfucking United States and around this world. So guess what, bitch? Time up. Shut the fuck up. You have had 405 years in these United States to terrorize, mutilate, and kill black women and our children. And don't get it twisted, bitch, because I know all about you. I know about your history from from when y'all crawled out of cra uh, caves and shit. Okay, bitch? My advice is that you slither your ass back up there to, what's that place? The Isle of Man or Antarctica or some other motherfucking place, bitch. You don't like what we say, so? Bitch, I'm grown. I'm grown. I will do what the fuck I want. I will live my best peaceful and happy life and you will not be disturbing it and you will not keep fucking with black women and black girls how fucking dare you bitch how dare you so you got your nasty unwashed unclean fucking ass on this internet to fuck with a young black woman? Absolutely the fuck not, bitch. No. Not. Access denied, bitch. You want to sell cowhide earrings to whoever the fuck, bitch? Good for you. Go for it. But keep black women, black girls' name out your motherfucking mouth. Because we're not going to have one more incident of a black woman being shot in the motherfucking face because of your goddamn rhetoric trying to make other people believe that we are nothing. Because you, because you covet, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you motherfuckers are out here working on your, I don't know, inner child, some other bullshit. I don't care, bitch. I don't care anything about you. I'm probably one of the only women, black women in America that don't give a fuck about a white bitch at all so <laughs> new rules there are consequences to your badass behaviors again you don't get to talk to for about against us you don't get to write no policies you don't get to make jokes you don't get to do none of that shit you don't get to walk up on black women you don't get to go oh can i feel your hair no yeah if you want me to punch you in your motherfucking throat bitch let's exchange assault and battery for a motherfucking assault and battery we have a right to stand up for ourselves we have a right to defend ourselves whether it is verbal whether it is on social media, whether it's in real life. And bitch, go call your little white men. Have them come through. Because um, I eat white men for lunch. Bitch, ooh, how your, how your man look? Because I'm good for taking a motherfucking white boy and turning them out. Hmm? Don't do it, bitch. Sit your ass down out of my motherfucking eyesight and shut the fuck up. I hope that was clear. Love you, black women.